Hey guys! So today I wanted to do a quick video when it comes to if you have a leaking uh, extruder, you know, where you have uh, PLA or whatever coming out from the threads of your heat block. Uh, a while back I changed out the nozzle thread on my on my extruder and I had an issue where I was printing and all of a sudden I had molten PLA coming out through the threads at the top of the, the heat block. And one of the problems I that I figured out was the piece of Teflon tubing that comes in the new replace the replacement nozzle throat was completely even with the threads. Now I didn't realize it at the time. I just did this as a little mock-up deal of a heat block. <laughs> um, when you have it like that and you put your nozzle in, pretty much you're just butting the nozzle up against the metal. There's not really any, you know, it's real close, there's a gap. I uh, don't know if it's going to zoom in, spread too close. Anyway, there's there's a gap that's, you see how it's not completely even. So even though you're butting up against it, there's really no seal there. And the other issue is, if you have your nozzle completely butt it up against it, then of course you have issues, especially when you go to tighten everything up. So here's what I figured out on mine. I picked up a roll of Teflon tubing from off of eBay. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. And uh, I'll put the link in the video description of exactly what size it was. It works perfectly for these throats. What I did is I pushed out the one that came with the new nozzle throat and then I picked up I, I, I cut the piece of the tubing and see, yeah and see how I just cut it so it's a little bit past the threads and then just you can shave it or or use a well in my case I use the Dremel tool to uh, shave it down a little bit but you can use a file, you can use a sharpening stone, anything that would just kind of shave it down so it's just a little past the threads. And then I took my nozzle and I backed it off so that it had about a one millimeter, a little bit more gap between it and the, consider this being like a heat block. So now when you screw the nozzle throw it in, so it butts up against the nozzle. Notice that you have a PTE or the PTFE or Teflon tube that's now up against it, and that works as a gasket. And of course, then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to turn on your your heat block, heat it up to whatever temperature, and then tighten the nozzle slightly. And what this will do is it will create a better seal, and you won't have the issue where that's that. Te uh, your plastic is starting to come out and then start coming out through the top of the threads. Otherwise it's going to find somewhere to leak out. If it's not going to leak down off from down here, it's going to come up through and start doing like it did on mine and just start coming out the top. And then it just drips all over the place. But that's why I found worked the best for me as far as keeping it from, from oozing out and causing me issues. Ever since I did that, I haven't had an issue with it since. Uh, I heard some people say that you grab the threads and Teflon tape. My worry about doing that, especially with the nozzle, is that it would insulate it from the heat block. So I would think that would cause an issue as far as, as uh, extruding the plastic. And then the other thing too is once you do that, I'll take, just take a piece of filament here, and you run it through. I can feel where there's a little bit of roughness, so if I was going to do this before I would uh, take and actually do that, so you can see there the plastic's actually in the nozzle, uh, what I would probably do is just take a little file or something, like the one that came with a printer, and just clean out that Teflon tube just a little bit. It's probably from where I ground it. Just kind of round out the hole a little bit more. 
and now I put it back in. Of course, it's this this is such a sorry setup right here, but I just want to do it for demonstrations purpose demonstration purposes. Yeah, that's feel smoother. So that way, I know there's not a blockage there or anything. Anyway, that worked for me. And then by having it like that, now when I change out my nozzles, by having that little bit of a gap, each one of the, each nozzle is a little bit different. Like like right now, see where the gap is. Let me take one of my old nozzles and let's just see how close it is. Pull that plastic out. So hold the nozzle, throw it pretty close. So the gap is actually probably a little bit more on that one. But I noticed on some of them the nozzle seems like it's in closer. So by giving it that little bit of a gap it gives you a little bit of playing room to, you know, each time you put a different nozzle in. Yeah, that's pretty close to the same. But some of them are a little bit shorter, some of them are a little bit longer. Anyway, that's what worked for me. And so if you have an issue with your extruder oozing out plastic, that's one of the best ways of fixing it. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.